20 DIY Miniature Pets for Barbie and her dollhouse. Barbie loves her animal friends, so let's give her a few cuddly buddies to play with. But before we get started, make sure you show us some love by subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and clicking the thumbs up button if you liked this video. Dragon Who wouldn't want a magical dragon to ride around on? For this project, you'll need some coated wire. Then the wire to create the dragon's body shape. You'll need a head, a long neck, some legs, and a tail. When the frame is complete, add some gray polymer clay to the wire. This is going to be the head of the dragon. Use this clay tool to shape the eye sockets and the nostrils. Use a toothpick to mold and shape his smile. Add two indents in the back of the dragon's head. You're going to add long, thin strips of black polymer clay here for his horns. Add some black clay to the eye sockets as well. Press some of these blue eyes into the socket. Now, let's give this dragon some feet. Mold the feet with the gray clay and cut out some toes. Push the feet onto the wire. Let's make the front feet black. Now use wadding to make the body of the dragon. Form the material around the wire. Once you have the body, wrap it in wool fiber. Push the threads in with the needle. Now Barbie has a magical dragon to ride around with. She is the mother of dragons. Dog. A dog can be Barbie's friend. All you need is a cotton ball and some pipe cleaner. Wrap the pipe cleaner around the cotton ball like this. Then wrap the same color pipe cleaner around a straw. Pull the straw out and glue the end to the body of the dog. Do this for all four legs. Let's give this pooch a head. Wrap the pipe cleaner around a smaller cotton ball. Then, glue the head to the body. Cut a small piece of brown pipe cleaner and glue it on as the nose. Use a longer piece for the tail. Add some googly eyes. And bend out some floppy ears. A pink pipe cleaner works great for a tongue. Barbie's canine companion is ready to go to the dog park. Groot. Barbie would love her very own Groot, don't you think? He's easy to make. Just take a piece of white polymer clay and form it into a disc shape. Then form a long piece and cut it here. Wrap the long piece around the disc you made. This will be his sand. Now Groot needs some strong bones. Let's use this wire to help him out. Cut a piece of wire and twist it around like this. Roll a black and brown piece of clay together. Then stretch and massage the clay together to make the tree trunk look. Form it into a tree trunk shape and push it onto the wire, on top of the base you formed earlier. Now make three long skinny sections of brown and black clay and twist them together. Push it onto the wire to make the body. Now make his cute little arms using a toothpick. Add some lines for extra detail. Now we need to make Groot's head. Roll out some clay and cut out this zigzag pattern. Wrap it around to form his head. Use the end of a sewing pen to make the corners of his mouth. Then draw on his smile with a toothpick. Add two black clay circles for eyes. Bake this little guy in the oven, according to the instructions on the clay package. When he's ready, hot glue some plants to the top of his head. Now that is a cute Groot! Turtle! If Barbie is in the mood for a reptilian friend, give this a try. Grab your trusty polymer clay. Green is a good color for turtles. 
form the clay into the shape of a turtle head and use a toothpick to make the details. Like a smile, don't forget the nostrils. Form two small pieces of yellow polymer clay and smoosh them onto his head to make his eyes. Push in two black beads or pins to finish the eyes. Now form some wire so you can stick his head to his body. Push the wire into his head. Press out his toes with a toothpick. Now that you've got the head and the feet, let's make the body. Grab a piece of egg-shaped foam and cut it to the right shape. Push the turtle head into place. Silver thumbtacks make an excellent turtle shell. Push them into the foam in this cool pattern. When you're done, add the legs and tail. This shiny turtle is ready for action. He really likes to snuggle. Cat. Form a ball of wool fiber and poke it with the needle several times to form the cat's body. Add a tuft of pink wool on top to integrate it with the needle. Make the legs too. Keep adding wool in as many colors as you like until you are happy with the look of your kitty cat. Twist some wire through a bead to make the eyes. Once you form the head, make two little holes for the eyes. Push and twist the bead through like this. Form a little more wool around the bead to give the eyes a more natural look. Let's add a little pink nose, a cute little cat mouth, and some ears. Attach the head to the body with your needle. Add the legs and an adorable pink belly. Now for the tail. Paint some green lines down the center of the eyes and add some white dots. Let's give her a little bow too. Barbie's feline friend is all ready to go. Elephant. If Barbie wants a pet elephant, then that's what she shall have. Find an old plastic jug like this one. Cut off the top, the handle, and the bottom off. Then use scissors to form an elephant body, like the one you see here. It already looks like an elephant, right? Let's use a pink foam sheet for ears. Cut two pieces together so they look exactly the same. Glue them to the sides of your elephant so she can hear. Add some yellow tusks and googly eyes. Don't forget the pink fuzzy tail. Let's give her some pink hair too. Looking good, little elephant. Spider. A spider isn't your ordinary pet, but then again, Barbie isn't your ordinary girl. Cut four pieces of wire for spider legs. Then twist them together to make eight legs. Bend the wires down so they look like spider legs. Twist the front legs to make little feet. Now make the body out of black modeling clay. Just press it onto the center of the wire legs. Add some gray circles at the base of the legs. Let's give this little guy a smile. Shape some white clay into a smile and then add some red clay around it for lips. Press the smile in with a toothpick and put it on the spider. Add three or more googly eyes. Then give him a couple of hands. Glue a piece of purple cotton to his back end. Then for the finishing touch, wrap purple pipe cleaners around his legs. Trim the extra with scissors. Make the two front arms a lighter color to distinguish them from the other legs. What an awesome pet spider! Penguins. When you live in Barbie's world, it's totally acceptable to have penguins as pets. Just cut two sections from an egg carton. Cut them apart and trim the edges. Paint with black acrylic paint. Give them a white belly. Then we're going to make the beak and feet out of red felt. Trim and glue them into place, like this.
add the little beak and two little googly eyes. Now Barbie has the most interesting pets at the park. Butterfly. For this, you're gonna need pipe cleaners. Twist two pipe cleaners together like this. Twist the end in this swirl design. Give the corner of the wing a little swirl and point it up to the sky. Glue the end to the butterfly wing. Twist the top half of the wing in a different colored swirl. Glue it in place and then glue the two parts together. Make the body and stem by folding the pipe cleaner in half and twisting it together. Fold the lower half up and twist some more. Form the antenna and glue the wings to the body. Add some pom-poms to give the wings some extra flair. Then watch it flutter in the sky. Barbie loves her butterfly pet. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you later.